certainly in our audio uh, end of the R&D program, quad was very important. And Ben Bauer, uh, who we uh, affectionately called the quad father <laughs> at the time, uh, was a prime mover there. Uh, ben had, um, and some executives from CBS Records, uh, witnessed a demonstration by Peter uh, Scheiber, who had uh, uh, shown the industry uh, how a matrix audio system could be uh, encoded in a disc, one which had greater compatibility with the ordinary stereo record. And um, Ben became an evangelist for the system that he called SQ, and it stood for Stereo Quad. Quad never made it in spite of the, the big investment, and people have often wondered why. Uh, and at the time, we heard all sorts of excuses. Well, we, we had too many systems, and people got confused. Uh, there was that extremely sexist comment that the housewives or their interior decorators would never tolerate four loudspeakers in the living room. There was concern that the uh, producers never really learned how to use the system. They always perceived it as a four-corner loudspeaker arrangement and, um, and tried to um, put the listener in the center of the activity rather than not necessarily in the center of, a, of an acoustic space. But I have my own theory as to why okay. Quad failed. Um, it failed because the record companies could not figure out how to make additional income from it. Uh, and I think the CBS experience probably illustrates it as good as any. That was at a time when ordinary stereo records were selling for six dollars a piece. And a uh, decision was made, since this quad is something special, uh, let's charge seven dollars a record for it. And that extra dollar of, uh, on the sales price uh, seemed to cover the costs, the added production costs of uh, editing and, and, and post-production for, for a quadraphonic product. But it was creating problems in the dealer networks. Uh, multiple inventory was always a serious problem and the dealers had, you know, they had to stock the standard stereo 12-inch LP, they had to stock tape products, either reel-to-reel -reel or cassettes, and uh, that and comes along another product that needs shelf space. And there was a lot of resistance to it. So CBS Records decided to um, drop the dual thing and have every release either be ordinary stereo or, or SQ at the at $6 price. But when that happened, they lost the ability to track, <laughs> track it commercially. It was just lumped in with all product. And pretty soon all they could visualize was that it was somehow some records cost a lot more to produce and they weren't <laughs> there was no increased income from them. So, uh, so it was dropped. And I would imagine that other companies had similar experiences. <laughs>